Hey guys, so uh, hope that y'all are doing good. Just gonna do a quick sermon. Hopefully doesn't go on for an hour. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't think anybody's going to be sitting watching me for a whole hour. At least not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. Start with a word of prayer. I ask that you uh, bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Lord, I pray that you be with us, that you guide us, and uh, that you watch over all of us, Lord. I pray that you uh, guide my voice, Lord, that you may speak through me and uh, help those who need to listen to you or to hear your word, Lord, that I may be able to deliver your message to them, Lord. Um, Pray that you guide us and protect us always, Lord, and forgive us always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so uh, uh, um, you guys can't see this, but I have a whole outline here, and I'm just going to read off of that, see where it goes. So, our overall theme is uh, reflecting God's characteristics, right? Uh, God has many names. God is love, God is merciful, God is everlasting peace. But then we have God is just. You know, what is just? Like, is that that word that sh people say, you know, oh, just kidding, or I'm just fine, you know, that word? Like, how you, how, how are you that word? Let's, let's uh, answer that question. <laughs> First of all, there are two definitions. Um, the first one is, you know, the one that you just heard. Uh, I just said that. <laughs> I just said it again. <laughs> that was the first one. Uh, the second one is uh, based on or behaving according to what is morally right and fair. That is the second definition. And uh, another word is similar to that, which is justice, meaning just behavior and treatment. Uh, obviously, this is a good characteristic. You know, people who justify others, you know, generally good. You're going to see me edit myself from here and there just because... Uh, I mess up sometimes, I'm human. <laughs> so, is God just? Well, shortly put, yes. Uh, God ultimately gave us free will. And, uh, you know, some people see it as a bad thing, some people see it as a good thing. Ultimately, if God were to force his opinion on us, that ultimately isn't justice, you know? Um, it isn't behaving according to what is morally right and fair, right? And Secondly, he could easily end us, but he didn't. Instead, he gave Jesus to die for us and to save us, you know? I mean, if God decided to remove Satan when he sinned, the angels would have feared God instead of, loved, instead of loving him. And ultimately, that would just go against his characteristic, right? So that's why God is just. Now, how can we reflect that justice? on our own lives, like, how do we behave according to what is morally right and fair? Well, in order to do that, we have to, you know, follow his Ten Commandments, right? I mean, if we look at the verse Micah 6, 8, and I'll go ahead and find it here, it says, uh, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Ultimately, God gave us the Ten Commandments to show us what is morally right and fair. And Jesus even told us in Matthew 22, 37 to 40, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And God, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Here we can all agree that to love your neighbor as yourself is morally right and fair, right? I mean, let me go back here. I mean, we have to understand differences and uh, ultimately follow God's laws, which is obviously love one another as you would yourself. You know, we all have different beliefs on what is morally right and fair, beliefs that are religious, political, cultural, or personal. But despite these differences, one thing that is that we as Christians can do is to follow God's laws, to continue to love one another as we would ourselves, and to love God in every fiber of our being. Some people might hurt us, and we don't know if they're intentional or not about it. Not, nobody is perfect. I mean, I'm not perfect. I have to edit this video a whole bunch of times. But 
ultimately, we just have to follow the Ten Commandments and uh, pray for guidance, ultimately. Um, reflecting God's character in our own lives isn't easy. Uh, God made sacrifices and He understands our struggles. It's important to be rooted in the Bible, in God's words, and to continue to grow in your walk with God. Uh, God knows the content of our hearts and He knows when others are being sincere to you or not. You know, if we're struggling to reflect God's character, remember that no one's alone in their walk. We have uh, teachers in the HVA that can help us. We have pastors, uh, friends who are Christians, obviously. <laughs> and you have God. And we have prayer to connect with Him. Well, now that we talked about all of this, about the characteristics of being just, I want you to look into your life and find anybody who you remember distinctly that you weren't just. And with that thought, I want you to pray for that. Pray for someone you didn't treat justly towards. You know, you can do that whenever. You can do it right now, or you can do it after a couple of days. It doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you do it. <laughs> but uh, let's close with a word of prayer. Uh, bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you be with us, Lord. Uh, Lord, life's not easy, and especially what's happening now, I don't think it'll be easy for any of us, or for some of us at least, Lord. Uh, but I pray that you help us to maintain a good Christian character, Lord. Pray that you help us in our walks, Lord, that you guide us always, Lord, and that we continue to grow in our knowledge and our understanding of you, Lord. Lord, you know what's happening in all of our lives, Lord. Uh, you know what's happening in my life. You know what's happening in others' lives, Lord. And I pray that you guide them through whatever chaos or peace that they're dealing with, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer always, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.